What's up, Bean Team? It's your boy, King Beam, and I had to make a video on this. Um, I made my first Villain Saga video. I don't know how long ago, but I made a little video essay on that. And in that video, I was talking about how, you know, there's it's the show and it's disguised as a show about this dude and he wants to get revenge for his father and he's doing all this stuff and it's about Vikings and violence and pillaging villages and stuff. But the real message the real kicker was that like the whole point of the show was to show that like revenge isn't the answer and you know that was just a really like i don't know profound thing for me to to think about and then now i've watched all of season two and i like season two continues with a strong message but i feel like season two's message is even better than season one's um, cause you know, we, we end and ask a lot. He gives his whole speech to Torfin or Thorfinn and, uh, he tells him that, you know, you, you, you gotta, you gotta get away from this, this violent path. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta become a true warrior, stop the violence and become a true warrior. And, you know, Thorfinn didn't really get it at that time, but once Thorfinn gets a change of scenery, he's, uh, he's, 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 he's a slave now. And, um, you know, he, he really got the slow down and not like enjoy life but like life is you know better than what he was doing for that specific for a particular time in his life and um you know we get this we get this good build up of his character arc and how he's going to perform this season because like at the beginning he's like he's having all these nightmares and there's this really good scene um something happened I forget what like what had actually happened. Oh, the the dude the dude that they're working for, right? Their slave master, his son wanted to like become a real man. And so that all the guards, they were like, Hey, you, you kill if you kill a man, you'll be a real man. So they got um Thorfinn and his boy Anar and you know, they're they're slaves. They're like, Hey, kill the slaves and you'll become a real man. And um Thorfinn was just like he he wouldn't flinch, like one thing led to another and then one of the, like the guards were like just like cutting Thorfinn up with a sword and Thorfinn wouldn't flinch at all he wouldn't flinch at all and then the guy's like yo you you should be afraid that you're about to die and Thorfinn just looks at him in the eyes and he's like why should I be afraid of death I welcome death because nothing good has come from me living and I was just like like damn you know that that's that 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 hits hard you know what i'm saying i mean thorfinn's not wrong like of course like his like his like little baby years were 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 sweet but like once his dad died like i don't know how old he was like six seven years old nothing else in his life was good at all he was killing and killing and killing and killing and killing and killing and killing you know now he's a slave like his life has been terrible and then to see him go from this to like the end of the um season was just really cool to see so um we keep going right and one day Thorfinn he has this dream and he has this dream and he's in Valhalla and he's with his dad but then his dad looks back and he's like yo you can't be here and then like literally all like the hands of the people he's killed they drag him down into hell and it's like this literal hellscape and it's just people fighting to the death over and over and over again. And Askeladd's down there. And he says to Thorfinn, he's like, yo, what are you, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here right now. You're supposed to be up there. You, you, you don't belong here. And um, Thorfinn, he, he's, he's getting really weighed down by all of the people that he's killed. All the death and destruction that he's caused. And he's getting weighed down by it. But, uh, you know, Askeladd is a really interesting character. He, I think he's, like, the best character in the series. Because, like, really... Is he evil? Yes. But like once Thorfinn's dad got killed, Askeladd was like the only father figure that Thorfinn had. And was he a bad father figure? Yes. But like, you know, he, in his own Askeladd way, he meant well. And so like in this hellscape, he tells Thorfinn that like, you know, you need to become a true warrior. Get rid of this. All this worn stuff, You, you this is beyond you. You got to stop with this. And so then Thorfinn wakes up and he comes to the conclusion that to get rid of this weight that's on his shoulders the, the 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 pain and emptiness and sadness and death that is holding him down giving him this depression he needs to create a world where there's no war 
no slavery, no fighting, just peace. And he's going to create like a new country in um, Vinland. And he's going to find Vinland and he's going to make his own little country. No war, no slavery, none of that, right? And so then we get to, no, um, I have no enemies. And, um, you know, King 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 Canute, he, he, he comes comes to the, the, the farm that Thorfinn's on for one reason or another. They're like slaughtering everybody on the, farm, uh, on the farm, killing people. There's like a whole war and everything. And Thorfinn's like, yo, I need to talk to this dude. I need to tell Canute. Because, you know, I have history with him. I need to tell him to stop the madness and bring peace because war is wrong. And then they're like, all right, if you can take 100 punches in a row from us, we'll let you talk to the king. So they're just punching him and punching him and punching him and punching him and punching him. Like, this dude is getting beat down to a pulp. Boop, 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 boop. My boy's getting beat, all right? And so then he takes the 100 beatings and he he's like, he, he's, he's dying. And um, they're like, Thorfinn, like, like, why would you do this? Why would you go this far to create peace with the enemy? And um, Thorfinn's like, we're, we're not enemies here. You know, we're, we're all everybody. We're, we're all one people. And he looks there. He, he, he looks those people that just beat him to a pulp in the eye. And he tells them that I have no enemies. I just want there to be peace. And they're like standing there in awe of this dude. They're like, he's crazy, but Thorfinn's right. You know, we're 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 not meant to be in constant conflict with each other. We're like, let's just have peace. We have no enemies. I feel like nowadays, like, you know, on social media and everything, I feel like there's like a strong sense of uh, you know, I'm in my villain arc. Or whatever, you know, I'm I'm in my villain era. But like, no. Don't be a villain. Be a hero. You don't you don't have any enemies. You weren't meant to, you know, spread hatred and bad vibes. You're meant to spread peace because that's what the world needs. You 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 can't see the beauty of life if if you're observing through eyes filled with hatred. You have to just like be you have you have to find peace because unless you find peace within yourself you can't spread peace throughout the world like that's what Thorfinn had to learn this entire series he had to like he had to come at peace within himself you know he had to get rid of that that burden that's on his shoulders he had to forgive himself for all of the death that he caused and once him once he himself was at inner peace he finally realized that he needed to spread that peace throughout the entire world so that he can get rid of all the wars and and people that are slaves and everybody's just fighting back and forth we need to get rid of that and he's tell, he tells that to king canute and king canute lets him go free he leaves the farm because somehow some way thorfinn just talking with his words made the king go away it's literally talk no jutsu but in a way that doesn't seem stupid Thorfinn is the ideal hero that we should all aspire to be you know everybody wants to be spider-man we all want to be batman but we really need to be like Thorfinn and tell yourself that you have no enemies Let's just spread some peace. And uh, yeah, that's that's the video. I just um, I feel really strongly about this subject because, I mean, that's the whole reason I made this YouTube channel. I wanted to, you know, make someone's day, make someone happy, making a goofy little YouTube video. I want to spread happiness throughout the world, you know, because there's enough hatred going around so why not spread happiness and uh i feel like thorfinn really embodies that um spirit for me so uh yeah if you enjoyed the video it'd mean a lot if you would drop a like hit that subscribe button join the beam team and um let me know what you thought about villain saga season two in the comment section below and as always i love you have a great day peace out